Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another makeup tutorial. I said last week that I'd be back again with more makeup and fashion videos, so here I am. And today I am playing around and trying out for the first time another ColourPop palette that I received from one of my friends. This one is the All Things Equinox palette. Here it is right here. I haven't opened it yet because like I've been home all the time and haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup. I've just been taking care of my skin. But in any case, here is the palette. And it is full of like purple kind of shades and some, some like pinky neutral shades in there. But anyway, the colors are really pretty and I'm really excited to try this out. Um, again, I don't really know the look that I'm going for today, but I kind of have an idea in mind for a picture. So I am going to base the makeup off of the um, idea that I have for the block pictures. So first things first as always, I've primed my face and my eyelids. Um, today I used the Smashbox primer and a um, just a concealer for my eyelid primer as always because I just prefer that. So the first shade that I'm going to use is the Alter Ego shade, which is this bottom one right here. It's kind of like a shimmery shade, and I'm going to use that for the outsides of my eyelids. So next I'm going to use the shimmery shade Kindred, which is this one right here for the insides of my eyes. So, so far both of those shades came out really nicely and they blend together like amazingly. I'm very impressed. They're both shimmer shades, which usually when I do a like smoky look, I do a matte on the outside and a shimmer on the inside, but the shades in this, are, there are a lot of shimmery shades in this, which I really like, so I kind of just did all shimmer today, which I, I don't mind it. So next I'm going to go back over the tops and outsides with the shade Moonrise, which is this one right here, and I'm just going to blend it in. And so next for underneath my waterline, I'm going to go in with the matte shade Stellar, which is this one right here. And so next for eyeliner, I'm going to use the eyeliner that I always use, and that is my Kat Von D ink liner. And next for foundation, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation in the shade 3.5. And next for concealer, I've got my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 12N, which is Fair Neutral. And then for some finishing powder, I've got my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. And then I'm skipping the um, contour stage today, and I'm going to just go right to the blush, which I have a ColourPop Super Shop Cheek Blush in the shade Guilty Pleasure, which is this here. kind of hard to see in this light, but it's like a very nice pinky nude kind of shade. This is 
is my first time using one of these super shop cheeks well actually i used a different one a different shade which was like a blush but this one was more of like a highlighter and i actually really like it it came out like very <laughs> so maybe it is a highlighter not a blush i'm sorry <laughs> but in any case it came out really nice it's super super creamy so that's why i applied it with my finger rather than the brush because it just wasn't really picking up on the brush but in any case this is awesome and due to the fact that it did come out like a highlighter, I just went and used a little bit of blush from my Naked Flush palette from Urban Decay for blush. And for mascara, I've got my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And lastly for lips, I'm just going to use my Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade Pink Nude. It is a 100. I love this because it doesn't dry out your lips and it just keeps them very hydrated. So there you have it. There is the finished look. Um, I really went for like a kind of purple shade because like I said I have a picture idea in mind and I think this just fits along with it but in any case I loved how this palette turned out the colors and pigments were great um, the color story of the palette is great as always the shades go on so smooth they blend so easily and the finished look actually turned out I'm just really pleased with it in addition more of a highlighter than a blush I Honestly, I got this for my birthday, so I don't know if this is listed as a highlighter or a blush, but it's super creamy, and if you are gonna use it as a highlighter, it is amazing. Highly recommend this as well. Like I said, it is the shade Guilty Pleasure of their Super Shock Cheek collection. So if there are any other products or palettes or anything like that that you want me to try out, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to look into getting them and trying them out. And if you like today's video, make sure you hit the red button down below to subscribe to my channel, click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post, and make sure you follow me on social media at Break Potter, check out my blog at UnbreakableBliss.com, and until next time, see ya!